The Basilica of St. John the Baptist has dominated the skyline of St. John's for almost 200 years. But now this province's symbol of Roman Catholicism is up for sale to the highest bidder. So are other church properties. It needs to raise an estimated $50 million to compensate survivors of sexual abuse at the former Mount Cashel orphanage run by the Christian Brothers of Ireland. The abuse happened between the 1940s and 60s. The Archdiocese of St. John's doesn't have the money, the Vatican isn't helping, so the buildings must go. To me, there will never be a thing called closure. I don't know what that is. This man spent eight years there in the 1950s. His identity is protected by a court order. The church is responsible for this then the church has to pay, you know. If it means taking the churches, the schools, to pay for that, so be it. The Basilica Heritage Foundation is leading a joint bid committee to buy the cathedral and surrounding properties. Smaller parishes are also bidding on their churches so they can have a place to worship. Many churchgoers are angry. They feel that the Vatican should pay for the sins of its Christian brothers, not them. This church, church hall, was built by the parishioners in this parish and the Archdiocese of St. John's can just come in here and take it and sell it. I don't understand it. Archbishop Peter Hunt has refused all media interviews. Priests have been told not to speak publicly. The victims should be compensated. It's a long overdue. But Father Nelson Boren is the exception. It should have been dealt long before and now uh, parishioners are being dragged into this mess. Warren is turning in his collar and taking indefinite leave. Successful bidders should hear soon. Meanwhile, more buildings are set to go on the auction block. Chris O'Neill Yates, CBC News, St. John's.